All right, so sorry I didn't get a chance to film coming into Publix because they're pretty strict about that. So it's dark now, so we're gonna film getting out of here. So let's see. I've got the green light to pull out, so I'm gonna pull out. And I'm gonna set the tandems. All the way up. Yeah, it was a long one load. Four and a half hours. It's now about eight o'clock. I got here about 3.30. It took a long time here. I know it's hard to see at night time. Alright, so they're locked in. That's good. Uh, probably can't close the door from here, I don't think. Let's see. I might be able to. Gotta keep one door open though. Gotta keep one door open because they do check at the guard gate on the way out that you're empty. So I'll pull up there. <clears throat> Give them this uh, yellow slip. It's been a long day. I've been up since, uh, let's see. I'm gonna get up today. I guess it was three o'clock in the morning to drive straight from Atlanta down to here, which is in Lakeland, Florida. And I had a 4.30 appointment, but I have gotten here before. You're allowed two hours early to get here. And I did get here two hours early. Actually, no one hour early well one and a half but they don't check you until 3 30 the earliest so but sometimes i've been unloaded right away this time it took forever to get unloaded so it is what it is that's the business see all these trucks here getting unloaded they're all this place does uh 24 hour unloading so 24 hours a day so I'm gonna have to take the camera off here when I pull up to the guard gate and I'll put it back on again. Cause again, you're not supposed to film while you're in here, but it's been a long day. There's a public truck come flying up here. Like he always does. There's the guard gate, I'll be right back. All right, couldn't film that, but I'll tell you what, first guard ever, any place I've ever been across this entire country, he went ahead and closed my door for me. I've never had that before, so that was pretty cool. So even though it took a long time for them to unload and everything, let me tell you, 
That was nice of him shutting shut a door for me. He's not not that he's not supposed to do that, but they never do that. So I'm actually uh just kind of glad he did that. Because I didn't have to hop out. Because normally you gotta hop out and then uh close the door and stuff, but didn't have to, so it's kind of cool. So now we're basically heading back to the yard. The yard's only about, as you'll see, it's only maybe a mile and a half, maybe two miles. But uh, this is County Line Road. Uh, so left Publix in Lakeland. This here on the right is Amazon. It's a freaking million square foot uh, warehouse. So it's one of them we have here in Florida. We probably have, geez, 10 or 15 of these same size warehouses here in Florida, but uh, that's their one of their fulfillment centers. So that's it right there. And then, uh, so I think I told you before it, I'm going to be home tomorrow. So <laughs> it's 8:15 tonight. So I'm basically going to be going home tonight, staying at home tomorrow daytime. But then I'll be coming back to the truck to sleep in our yard because I have to leave early about 3, 3, 3 in the morning on Monday to um, head back up to Atlanta because I have a delivery that has two stops on Tuesday which is going to put me having to leave get up to Atlanta early Monday so I can turn around and start to head back towards Lakeland to have less of a drive on Tuesday so, uh, long and short of it, that's how my weekend's going to go. It's going to be a real short weekend, but I'm off on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So, it's kind of cool. I don't normally take off three days anymore. I usually only take off two. I used to take off three when I was over the road, but this job here, it really takes six days out of seven days a week to do your run. Or should I say runs because you got to go up one day you only have enough hours to go up to Atlanta to drive up one day and then you get your load park and then drive back the next day and get live unloaded so it takes two days to do basically one load so that's why it takes uh, six days total to do three loads um, so that's how it works but anyways so not to bore you all just I'm, you know I know I don't know how much you can really see I got the GoPro running here, and uh, I don't know how well it picks up at nighttime because I don't do too many night night runs with uh, with filming. So, but I thought I'd just let you see this and uh, do a nighttime run here. Our terminal is just up here in the left hand side. This here is uh, on the right hand side is Southern Wine. Done a lot of deliveries out of there. And also Bacardi rum deliveries from Jacksonville. So that's Southern wine. So a bunch of liquor there, liquor and wine. So all of our facilities are gated. Uh, they're uh, secure lots. So I have to use my badge here to get in. During the week there, they keep it uh, open all the time, but because it's nighttime now and it's a weekend, it's. Uh, lock this armadillo there in the ground dead so here's our terminal this is our Lakeland Florida terminal and straight ahead is where we can get fuel I usually get my fuel at the loves um, because they give points and so forth which are worth dollars um, in the store or in their restaurants so they have well not really restaurants fast food so um, so I usually get my fuel there because they really want you to get it here at the terminal but you really haven't complained because they know we get free showers when you get so many gallons of fuel at the loves um, you get points which are worth money towards like I said food or anything so so I'm gonna see if I can park up here these are it's 
not as the lights are working but it's usually brighter than this it seems like back here but it's not tonight so I'm going to try to go all the way up here back her in because there was spots earlier up down here but this is closer to where you park our cars so wow I can park right along the fence this is great do some straight backing here. It's kind of hard to see the fence back there, but we'll get her done. Just gotta watch the nose of the truck here along the fence and then you gotta straighten her out because it couldn't take that turn too sharp so now what I'll do get close to the fence I'll pull up and now work my way closer okay now you see the fence back there so I don't know if you guys can see it or not in the mirror, but I'm just going to follow it back along the fence line. difficult because the way they get the fence line it's parallel with your truck and trailer but the way it's cut out there tricks some people sometimes all right there's a parking stop back there which as usually just let it bump you don't want to hit it too hard because what happens is your trailer tires will grab the mud flap and rip them off there we go just bumped it so that's going to be it for this video guys and um like i said i'm going to do some filming um monday on the way up probably be dark but i'm going to film later on when it's lighter in atlanta so that way i'll be able to see Atlanta and everything and uh, I'll do some filming on the way back on Tuesday so stay tuned hope you guys have a good night good day whatever time it is for you and uh, I will talk to y'all soon so have a great night take care